Oh, they did that pop. What's this? Oh, there we go. There we go. Hello? Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm well. How are you all? It's... Hello. Uh, it's fantastic to meet you. Would you like to introduce yourself in case some people don't know who, who you are? Oh. Hello? Hello. Hello. We yes, can we can know. Oh. I gotcha. Um, what's up? Would, what you, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm sure chat chat is going wild. They know who you are, but yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just I want it on the record. Us, I, need us, to, uh... I need to know. Um... Of course, everyone. My name is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I am the Congresswoman for New York's 14th Congressional District. Thank you so so much for it's a pleasure joining to meet you. us today. It's a Likewise. pleasure to meet you. Oh. Likewise, thank you, thank you to Chelsea for giving me the heads up and inviting me. Oh yeah, gosh. They, yeah. I committed yeah, so much voter fraud some for of you. My <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm nothing. Just some uh, of my it's amazing. Yeah. It's it's wow. Um how is it going over there? The government is like shut down? Longest shut down in history? The government is currently shut down. It's the longest shutdown in American history. Our TSA airport workers are not getting paid. Our FDA food inspectors are not getting paid. We have uh, folks showing up to NASA that are not paid and they're showing up for free just to keep, you know, basic vital systems to keep our astronauts alive, uh, you know, continuing. And so it's kind of a mess right now. Um, and we're, we're doing everything that we can. Well, keep keep fighting. I think what you're doing is phenomenal, and I'm glad that the the Democrats haven't caved because it's a big thing to cave on, and it's it's good. Um, yeah, absolutely, and it's an issue you. because regardless of whether it's for a wall or for anything else, the whole point is that if we caved on this, no matter what the request was, then we're basically legitimizing the tactic of holding people's paychecks hostage. And then so, they can do it again whenever they want. Yeah. This exactly. Is, this is, yeah. For any agenda point. Yeah. I mean, it's not only that, like, it's not only that, but like now we're like, we're now kids are yelling, you know, build a wall to like indigenous people and like clear that, you know, it's just this, this whole wall notion is just a symbol for something else. Yeah. You absolutely. Know? That's it's a, absolutely it's right. A mon so. It's a gigantic monument to white supremacy, effectively. Exactly. Exactly. And it's just, you know, I, I, I applaud you all for the organizing that you're doing because the best way that we fight against tactics like that is not just resistance, but by actively supporting and advancing the communities that, that need advocacy the most. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate you and everyone who's joining you today. Yeah. Well, and yeah, uh, like yeah. H-bomb, like uh did you think that it was going to get to this point? I couldn't... I maybe have fantasized about anything remotely like this ever happening in my life. And even they have not compared to what has happened. <laughs> it's been amazing. And just wow. Could, could I get you to say trans rights? <laughs> Pardon? Me? Yes, could I get you to say trans rights, please? I know there's a lot oh, of people of in the chat who would love to hear it. Trans rights, absolutely. It's an it's a no brainer. Trans rights are civil rights, are human rights. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> Thank you so of much. Course. I've actually got a uh, question to kind of bounce off of that. Sure. Um, so you have done an absolutely stellar job over the last uh, just few weeks, couple, uh, you know, barely uh, barely a month. Uh, taking the 70% tax rate and turning it from an abstract concept into a specific policy that the public understands and yeah. supports. Yeah. Um, is is there anything on the docket in terms of like trans policy, making use of that same uh, that same momentum to help the public understand actionable policy goals for? Brands rights. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's an excellent question. It's a it's it's an interesting one as well because when we're talking about actually just fighting for equal protection, it's it's not as though we're trying to advance a specific policy as much as it is we're trying. It's more of I I feel like a lot of the times it's the war that we're having is a cultural one. Uh, much more than just a, the more than a, than a marginal tax rate is. Um, mm. So what we really need to to do and, and show, I think, which which I think we're we're starting to do, is 
have this conversation a lot more in our culture. And so, uh, you know, for so long, I, I would say that Democrats in the United States have operated from a defensive place for a very, very long time. And um, and what we're mm. what we're doing is just kind of going on the offensive. Like I just tweeted today that in the United States, we wouldn't have to talk about bathrooms at all if everyone just washed their hands and minded their own business. Um, <laughs> Amazing. And, what an idea. <laughs> and so so I think that that a lot of what we need to do is put things into perspective, but also continue to reassert that equal rights means equal rights. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't matter how you identify. Mm. Um, and, you know, in terms of legislation, we can we can legislate protections or legislate, you know, so and, and this is actually a question that we had recently, not just specifically to the trans community, but there was a there was legislation that a Democrat was trying to propose that was essentially a protection for our immigrant community. And uh, but it was a constitutional protection, I, I believe. And so we actually didn't didn't co-sponsor it. And we pushed we actually pushed back on it because introducing legislation that's that pretty much already reasserts what's in the constitution makes it feel like it's up for debate like mm. if as if they well voted the, mm. as, right if they voted for the for the if they voted down the law it would almost make the constitutional guarantee seem less valid yeah. and so we actually pushed back against it um, even though that it may seem kind of like a a twisted logic or counterintuitive of sorts mm. um, but but we actually pushed back against it because we said we don't want to have a debate about what yeah. is already settled once you and once you put that stuff up for discussion it, it exactly. that's bad yeah exactly and so really what what i think we have to reassert is that when we say that equal rights for all we mean equal rights for all no asterisk exceptions fine print nothing mm. And, this is um, so fantastic to hear, and I'm glad we got you on. I'd love to talk more about trans yeah. rights and the marginal um, tax rate, but I would also, do you? I need to ask, do you know how to turn on the power in Frantic Factory in Donkey Kong 64? Because I've been I've been here for hours, and I don't know how I to do it. I do not. I'm okay. sorry. Donkey Kong 64 is outside of my wheelhouse. Well, that's and okay. Can... Um, your wheelhouse is <laughs> yeah. really, really good. I just, you know, you've lost my vote. No, no, this is fine. Never... I Please never continue. owned. I never owned an N64, though. I do think it's probably the best system out of all of them. Yes. Um, I never owned an N64, but I used to go to my cousin's house all the time, and she had Super Mario 64, Pokemon Snap, and probably a handful of other things. Yes. <laughs> And that's probably all I know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Snap was fantastic. Please, what you were saying was really important. I said that uh, that was a poor taste joke. Please, please do continue. Oh, it's, no worries. Well, I, no worries. Yeah. I, I just, I, I just want to say that, like, one of the biggest things that I find with the, the trans community, like, for me personally, is, like, house is, like, the, the issues, the biggest issues that we face are housing. And healthcare, yep. and those are not trans specific issues. Those are yeah. those are everything. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's, yeah, the trans it's community that, isn't isn't uniting behind um, single single issue things that only affect them. It's a single issue thing that affects absolutely everyone. Yeah, that's that's right, and that's when we have these conversations about intersectionality that are so important because it you know the the trans community does face a crisis when it comes to housing and healthcare, like most people, especially most Americans do, except there's an added, except when you have the added layer of discrimination, it makes these issues much more uh, acute in their crises than, than they usually are on average for other people. And so um, so it's important that we, that we do talk about these issues in the economic frame, but not let go of the fact that uh, that discrimination is is a core reason for the economic uh, hardship. Well said. Well, that said, I'm sorry I'm I'm here so quickly, but I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I do need to just, head out. I, I actually have you. one extremely short question just before sure. you go. Okay. Have you seen the AOC dances Twitter account? I have seen the AOC dances Twitter account. We had them all. I have not seen. All we, have the, we have the maker on, <laughs> in our channel. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I'm... <laughs>
<laughs> I've seen it. It's great. I haven't seen all the tweets, but I, I there was one. Um, I mean, it's the classic. Uh, what's the song? What's the song? I'm trying to remember. It's the '80s song. Um, you can dance if you want to. The oh, um, safety dance. Exactly yeah. the safety that. dance one. That was yeah. great. Yeah. Well, that chat is good. losing their minds. Thank you <laughs> so 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 much for stopping by. Of course, of course. Thanks made it a phenomenal weekend Thank for many people. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for doing this work. I really appreciate it. Everyone appreciates it. No, oh, thank, thank, you, for, thank, thank you. you for doing your work. And uh, Thank you. Sure. All right, May have I, a great day. Can I just say that I'll see you on TV. I'm, I'm so... I've been a bit quiet now, but I just... I'm You, Alexandra, you're, you are giving a lot of people a lot of hope right oh, now. Thank you. And I, I really don't have anything to ask, but just... I just wanted to say that and I'm kind of, I'm kind of shaking right now. Oh, <laughs> no reason to shake. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so very much. And um, I'm so happy that, um, that, you know, the movement isn't all just about one person either. It's that we can have these spontaneous, joyous and supportive moments and mm. any one of us can, can be responsible and be the source of it. So I thank you all so much and have an amazing day. You too. Woo! Thank you. Bye bye. Trans rights. That's right, trans rights. Bye. <laughs>